Good day. In this very short tutorial, we are going to explain what is a mount point and how to use a mount point. So to get to it quickly, mount points are just an NTFS disk, you know, storage hard drive stuff feature that came available with Windows 2000 and they're used to this day to assign one disk to a folder on another disk. Let's show it to you. It's so much easier to understand when you're looking at it. So let's get rid of that and let's go look at Disk Manager. Let's do that first. So I'm running Windows 11. It's the same Windows, same layout as Windows 10. Uh, so Windows 11 is a little more than the skin on the Windows 10. So anyway, let's move on to Disk Management. And you'll see that I have two disks. And the second disk is empty. There's nothing on it. Now, so let's go put a file on there. I'll just do a text document. All right, so there's a file on there now. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so let's say for some reason though, I don't want this D drive to show up as the D drive. I want it to show up as sort of part of the C drive here. How do you do that? Well, you take any blank folder, any empty folder, all right, I'm just going to create a new folder here and I'll call this, it could be anything. So I'll call it test and just to prove it all, just a bunch of junk at the end, right? Okay, so any folder at all, it's empty. Now, the only real restriction you have is that the format that's on the disk you're doing this with has to be NTFS. So this C drive has to be NTFS. It is in my case and it almost certainly is in your case. So just be aware of that. Now let's go over to our disk manager and we want to make this entire drive show up as a drive that's tied into C. Let's take a look here. So I'm going to go into here and I'm going to change drive letter and path and I'm going to remove it. Now all I've done is remove the drive letter. I've removed the way that you access that drive. But all the data is still there, nothing's changed. So now I want to assign this drive to show up as that C test, blah, blah, blah. Right click, change drive letter, add. And here's the thing you've always ignored. Mount in the following NTFS, and the keyword here is empty, NTFS. So let's go to browse, and we have to point it at an empty folder like that one. Click OK, click OK, and now, if we take a look at my C drive, let's go back a step and then just go into the C because I just want you to have it jump out at you. You'll notice here this test SDF blah, blah, blah garbage drive is showing as a drive. Well, that's weird, but hey, there's my file and I can open it. So there is no D drive. Now, just to be clear on this, I could also have the setup as a D drive. So I can add that in, change drive letter, add, and I can set it to, well, it's, that doesn't make a difference what letter. I said D, but it could be anything. Let's set it to U just to be different. So now there are two ways to access this drive. One is through the C drive here, right? So I can go into here and I can create new tech, uh, text document. I'm gonna call this test two from, whoops, from C or I can go into my computer here, go to my U drive, and I can create a new text document, test three from U. And yeah, I can see it, I can see it, I can access it anyway. So you don't have to remove the other drive, the drive letter, but you can. Now, one of the other reasons you might want to do this is to you know, sort of virtually expand your drive by adding this other disk in. So let's just take a look here. So, you know, you're not using a RAID controller, you're not doing anything with Microsoft storage spaces, you're just mapping this drive. So let's just take a look. I can go to, well, let, let me close this window and I'll bring up a fresh one because I don't want to confuse you. 
and I can go to the name of this machine, which is monster Dell all in one C, right? So that's my C drive. And as far as a user is concerned, so say you were to map this, say you're on a, on a network and you were to map this to a drive letter, you could make this, you know, your office's whatever drive, right? Just share it out. Well, the users don't see this as a different disk. They just see it as part of that share that you've created. So let's go into here. I'll go to new text document and I'll call this test four from share, right? And you can see it's there. I mean, it's just works. So that's an easy way to expand your disk. Now it will get a little confusing in the future <laughs> if you're not uh, the person that's always dealing with this because this is not a common way to do it, but that's it is one way to do it. Now, something else to note is while I can't make changes through the share, right? Because I've, you can see I'm using a share here. I can, and I just want to be clear, this is a very much a hair splitting exercise. But I want you to understand it. So you'll notice here it shows up as a drive just like a drive letter, like the D, E, L, whatever, or in this case, the U drive. I am able to right click on this drive and select properties. And you can see Windows, it shows up as a drive, like as an actual drive. I can go change permissions on it. I can do whatever else. Another interesting thing here is I can go into disk management. I can format this drive. So while the folder that you're sharing this from, the access point you're sharing this from, mount point, has to be NTFS. What you're connecting to it doesn't have to be. So I could format this as FAT32. I'll call this uh, test, 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 just garbage. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know why you'd want to uh, FAT32, but maybe you do. Maybe you've got some reason for it. And this has come up saying, hey, it's in use. You sure you want to uh, unmount it? Yep, I do. There it is. And I can go back to my C drive. And I can go into that mount point. And of course, everything's been wiped because I changed the format. But that's just to prove the point to you that you can use different formats. You do not have to have NTFS on the destination. Okay, so I'll just call this uh, test 11111. There we go. Right? Okay, so I think that's all anybody needs to know about mount points uh, as far as the basics go. I'll put a link uh, explaining the details if you want to do this through command line. Like, I could explain it all, but it's pretty straightforward. Microsoft has a pretty good article on it. It's nice and short, uh, explaining that from Windows 10 up, these are your options. Um, you know, the command line stuff, the you know, syntax, so on and so forth. Nothing too exciting here. So, hey, we'd really appreciate it if you would click like, uh, potentially subscribe, and certainly great if you'd leave a comment. All of that really helps with the Google algorithms. And you can always get a hold of us if you want to talk with us directly at uh, www.urtech. That's www.urtech.ca. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.